Hi, my name is Maureen Scrimger. I'm a PhD student with Castro, based at the University of Western Australia. I'm going to tell you about an important result my colleagues and I have just published that confirms our current picture of the distribution of matter in the universe. Astronomers think they have a good idea of the big picture of the universe. We know that stars, like our sun, group together to form galaxies. Galaxies clump to make clusters of galaxies, and clusters gather to create structures known as superclusters. But does this clustering continue on forever, on larger and larger scales? For decades, scientists have debated this very question. The standard model of cosmology assumes that the universe is smooth on very large scales. That is, the superclusters are homogeneously distributed, like a random set of points, with no pattern. Our understanding of the universe comes from applying Albert Einstein's equations of general relativity to a homogeneous matter distribution. This model was first suggested by Einstein in 1917, although at the time he had no evidence that the universe was homogeneous. If it is not homogeneous, Einstein's equations are being wrongly applied, and our understanding of things like dark energy could be deeply flawed. Recently, some scientists claimed to have found evidence that galaxies continue to cluster on ever larger scales. In other words, that they have a fractal distribution. A fractal is an object that looks the same on different scales, like this Broca flower. If we were to zoom out on a fractal universe, we would keep seeing similar looking structure on ever larger scales. If this were true, it would mean our whole picture of the universe could be wrong. We have tested this using a large survey of galaxies called the Wiggles Dark Energy Survey, made by the Anglo-Australian Telescope at Siding Spring Observatory in Australia. This used the new AA Omega spectrograph and the two-degree field fibre positioner on the telescope to observe spectra of hundreds of galaxies simultaneously within a two-degree field. The 2DF instrument consists of 392 fibres, each capable of observing a galaxy, and a robotic arm to move them into position. The final survey covers 1,000 square degrees of sky and contains more than 200,000 galaxies. It probes the same cosmic volume as a cube 3 billion light-years on a side. This makes it the largest survey ever used for this type of measurement of the large-scale universe. To measure homogeneity, we placed imaginary spheres around galaxies in the survey, centered on Wiggles galaxies, and counted the number of galaxies in these spheres. We wanted to compare this to a random homogeneous distribution, so we generated a random distribution of points like this, and counted the number of random galaxies inside spheres of the same size. We then took the ratio of Wiggles galaxies to random galaxies. And we took the mean of this over all the galaxies in the survey. We then repeated this for spheres of different radius, r. And so this gave us our ratio of wiggles to random galaxies as a function of sphere radius. What we saw is that on small scales, we have more wiggles galaxies than random galaxies in a sphere, since the wiggles galaxies are more clustered than random. But as we go to large spheres, this ratio tends to 1, which means we count the same number of Wiggles galaxies as random galaxies. We found that on scales larger than 300 million light years, there is no more sign of clustering, showing that the universe is homogeneous as astronomers suspected, so our big picture of the universe appears to be correct.